This young woman is traveling the world living her passion, playing the beautiful but unpredictable game of cricket. She touched the soil and experienced the culture of many countries including St. Lucia, Grenada, Barbados, Dominica, Jamaica, England, New Zealand, South Africa, India, and even Australia, just to name a few. This sporting icon is known to be a great leader, a motivator, counselor, mentor, ideal role model, trendsetter, inspirational speaker, team player, and also a national sports ambassador. She was shown appreciation by many groups and individuals and also received numerous awards and medals over the years that we simply lost count. She received awards from the Trinidad and Tobago National Cricket Association, the Trinidad and Tobago Women's Cricket Board, the West Indies Cricket Board, Phoenix Sports Club, and also a cricket association which is based in Australia. She was also nominated on many occasions for the National Spirit of Sports Award and the Fair Citizen Sports Foundation Award for her continuous excellence in sports and landed herself each time in the top 10. In 2017, this outstanding young lady was given a national prestigious award, Future is Female, which is the face of its kind. The woman I speak of, who is presently making local and international history in female sports, grew up in a small yet peaceful village of Mark in Maruka, and she is a proud daughter of a fisherman and housewife. With a passion for fashion, she is simply an athletic beauty. Now I will speak a little of her childhood, which I hope she don't mind. A tomboy many have called her. She was the master of moral and hopscotch. She knew how to beat any boy or girl at marble pitch and rubber band throw. She was not afraid of hunting, fishing on a raft out in the sea, or going out late at night when the moon was bright to catch crab by the river or the beach. She loved camping and bathing on the beach for hours she got in the green shark. Can you picture her climbing mango, rock, or plum tree? Well, she was good at it. She's also a known musician of the Aguilera's family parent band, and every Christmas, as they parent from house to house, she would play sweet music using two glass bottles and a spoon. In primary and secondary school, she excelled in sports. She participated in track and field, cricket, and football. Did you know that during her final years at Maruga Composite, she was given the opportunity to try for both the Trinidad and Tobago national football team and the national cricket team at the same time? So she had to make a choice, but she followed her dreams and allowed God to direct her steps. Even as a young woman, she attempted to develop female sports in Maruga and established a female cricket team, Southern Angels, that offered great opportunity for young girls. It is very easy to see her accomplishments, but do you see her sacrifices? Do you know the sacrifices she made or even those her parents made? Traveling late at night from places such as Kurup, Hoover, Bataria to Marak, with a huge cricket bag, buying cricket gear is not always certain of where the family's next meal will come from. Endless days and nights of training working towards her goals even when there were people who told her she won't make it. And those things still were just the surface of her struggles, but she never gave up and she eventually reached the highest level of female cricket, which is the captain of the West Indies women's cricket team and is presently still the captain of the Trinidad and Tobago senior women's cricket team. It is truly amazing what can be achieved when a person follows their dream and also receives the full support of their parents. Her long-term goal is to develop her very own foundation and also to become an evangelist. When you look at this woman, 
you will see a God-fearing and family-oriented person. You will see humility, compassion, determination, and commitment. You will clearly see a person that has a passion for young people and a desire to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Over the years, she had the privilege of working with many organizations such as Atlantic, Always, Ministry of Sports and Sports Company, Ministry of Education, Bataria Police Youth Club, and many more. Also, she is presently a board member of the Women's Cricket Association. However, she will definitely agree that there is something special about Atlantic and her experiences with them. She once stated that the values of Atlantic is a reflection of her personal values. Atlantic programs and initiatives exemplify those things she is deeply passionate about. They create opportunities for her to do what she loves. Atlantic is her family. The Marissa Aguilera Back to School program is something she holds dear to her heart. Simply because she loves her community and she wants to give back. Can everyone please stand and give a round of applause to Atlantic Ambassador and Daughter of the Soil, Marissa Ria Aguilera. <laughs> 